<sighs> you know what? It wasn't my instincts. My instincts was, hey, let's let's come online. Let's talk about it. Um, I'm glad I didn't sort of go with it. Something felt weird about it. Uh, I'm going to say that from what I've noticed with Lushy in the past, every time there's an actual incident, for example, the sandwich meat debacle, that whole giveaway at Christmas time and other things in the past where she's been accused of stuff. She tends to stay silent for quite a while before speaking on anything. And she didn't stay silent this time. She was right out of the gate when asked about it, when, when comments even were made in her comment section, she wasn't deleting anything. She was responding and sticking to the fact that no, all the kids are still in the home. Uh, the story that had been going around, okay, that we avoided talking about here was that you you guys know that in that house, there's a mix of adopted and now two foster kids, right? So the two foster kids, they call the kinships. There had been a story that the, the girl, N, was gone from the home, was taken from the home, um, that the biological mother had insisted that she no longer wanted to be filmed. She didn't want to participate anymore on the channel. And something may have happened. The girl may have gone to the hospital. Anyway, long story short, that the girl was removed from the home. So the bio mom gave like an interview to the dad challenge podcast. Uh, he made a whole video about that interview, put out like screenshots between them and it was, it was tea. And, you know, I, I like him a lot. Okay. I listen to him. I always think he really like does backstory, not, not backstories, but checks, you know, makes sure sort of, I'm not going to say what he's saying is, is correct. There's certain times you just don't know, but I will say, I do think this time everybody, and it's not putting it on him. Everybody kind of jumped the gun and just maybe made their videos a little too quick. Um, because like I said, I usually, you know, I find Josh definitely doesn't cross lines, doesn't jump on things too quickly. And, um, radiant Brit is another person. I, I, I like Brit. Okay. Um, Brit was the first one to make the video about allegedly and being taken from the home. And I just, in hindsight, think it was a little too, a little too fast, you know? Yesterday, she only made 11 lunches. That, okay, listen, th th this is the thing. It's it's very possible that N is gone from the home. But nobody knows for sure, okay? And the story of why she may be gone and what set the whole ball into motion and stuff, it's just so questionable at this point. I don't know what to believe. I, I really don't. The story that I had heard was apparently the biological mom reached out to Lushy for some money is what it is saying that she, she needed food and things like that, but it wasn't asking for food. It was specifically allegedly asking for money. And apparently there's a history of addiction. Okay. So if Lushy didn't feel comfortable handing over cash, I got to say, I don't blame her. You know what I mean? I, I, I totally understand that logic. Um, is that even true? We don't know because now it's really, um, he, she said, she said, you know what I mean? If that is true, I don't hold it against Lushy. I just don't. And if the fact that Lushy wouldn't hand over cash is what really did start this ball rolling, I think it's wrong. Okay. If that's not what started the ball rolling and genuinely and no longer wanted to be filmed, which, you know, it's, it's kind of undeniable. You could see the lack of enthusiasm specifically in N in certain ones of the kids, but N was definitely one of them. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if she no longer wanted to be filmed. So nobody now knows, is she still in the home? Is she not in the home? Lushy insists that she's still there. The bio mom has said that she's not. There are questions now over whether or not, you know, like, again, nobody knows. 
I will say that there was something put out on TikTok. This is now over a week ago because I've avoided talking about it where it was, you know, where she does those things with the kids one by one by one and all the kids are in the TikTok. So when it came to N, D, her brother was holding up a picture of her instead of her being in the video. Now, does that mean she wasn't in the house? Not necessarily. It could just mean that she doesn't want to be in the videos. Fair. Lushy, though, was clear from even before they agreed to take in the two kinship kids. The only reason that they were maybe not even going to take in these two foster kids was that they wouldn't maybe be able to film them and it would affect their social media. Okay. So if she can't film N and we'll have to either film around her, edit her out of things, that's, unless she's not going to do that. And she would be removed from the home. We all understand Lushy, ba the baseline is not the kids. The baseline is the social media, right? I find it incredibly believable that N is no longer in the home for those reasons. Even if the whole story between Lushy and the bio mom isn't true, da, 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 if the kid doesn't want to be filmed anymore, Lushy's not going to keep that kid in the home. That, that becomes an obstacle for Lushy. Lushy responded to the bio mom saying specifically, I spend all day editing already. I don't have the time. Like I cannot edit her out of stuff. I can't film around her. So I don't know. Th this whole thing has really blown up just because there's still, there's so much questions about really who's telling the truth, who's lying. Is it both sides maybe telling a little bit of the truth? And I just believe that, like I said, certain people jump too fast to make videos about this. You know, I, I, that might sound hypocritical. I jump on Chantal every time she makes, if she breathes, boom, I'm on it. You know, I, I don't think it's the same thing. We're talking about underage children who aren't in control of whether or not they're being filmed, whether or not this kind of information is being put out on the internet. I, I think a little more thought and a little more holding back, a li just a little more patience before you jump to a video about something so touchy. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. However, if I was in, let's say DPC, the dad challenge podcast, Josh's place, had the bio mom like reached out to me, would I have maybe jumped on it? Maybe. It's it's really hard to, to know what you would have done or said or whatever when you weren't the one and it's all in hindsight, right? So I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like holding it against him, holding it against Brit. I just think it was, it was a mistake. A mistake was made. So while I watched all that go down and realized like, oh crap, I think they spoke too soon. Oh crap, I think they're saying too much. That's why I decided you know what? I'm not doing a Doherty dozen video because I, I didn't even want to. What are we going to come out here and watch a Wegmans? I didn't want to come out and talk about Wegmans. How are you going to avoid the elephant in the room? This had to be discussed, but I really didn't know what to say. I had downloaded uh, DPC's original video about it after he spoke to the bio mom and he had the, the, the screenshots in his video. If you guys want to see it, it's still up on his channel. Okay. We were going to watch a little of it together today. I don't want to do that anymore. Um, what I wanted to, let's say, watch out of that video was specifically the screenshots. And now I just question how much of it is true. So I'm really glad in a way that we never watched that together on the channel. We're just not going to do that. Um, but again, if you are curious, if you want to see what had been said, Radiant Brit video still up, DPC video still up by all means, go to their channel. I'm not, I'm not trying to tell anybody, you know, I'm not like the uh, arbiter of anything here, okay? I've seen the videos too. I just don't want us to discuss it further and draw more attention to it necessarily as a group. You know what I mean? Whatever's happening, I hope it's for the best for N. I hope it's just what N truly wanted. If she doesn't want to be filmed and she wants out of that house and she's out of that house, bless, okay? If she's still in the house and they have figured out a way to, you know, work around, bless, as long as N is okay, because N had been looking pretty damn sad for a while, you know? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it, it doesn't sit right. I don't know what to believe. And I feel so bad for those two kids. Oh God. Yeah. I do watch. 
I do watch. Listen, a lot of stuff. This is another thing. I, I watch all the content. And I had been deeply, deeply into the Reddit, the snarkity Reddit, you know. Um, it's now gone private. <laughs> and they're not like uh, taking anyone's uh, requests to join, you know. Just as all this happened. It got too ugly. The whole thing got too ugly. And again, because we're talking about an underage child here, everybody just kind of backed off a little bit. So that that's all I have to say about that. I really don't want to say more. You know, I just don't know. Uh, no, I didn't see him uh, chatting with Heather Bell. Um, I don't want to say like, I'm just not that interested, but I'm literally just not that interested. I don't know what to say. That sounds mean. I don't mean it to sound like mean like that. I'm, I'm literally not that interested to listen to those two go back and forth at all. I I like her cooking videos. I, li I like, you know, some other videos on her channel, her shopping videos. I don't need to hear uh, an interview. I don't know. Not my thing. I don't care that much, I suppose. Man, we losing all the Reddits. Yeah, the Chantal one went private now. Uh, so did the Doherty doesn't, the fun Doherty doesn't one. The snarkity one. Hmm. Aye. Yeah, yeah, the, the snarkity board went private. The regular Doherty Dozen Reddit is still up, but the tone has really shifted. This is another weird thing that's going on right now. So many people, like, backing Lushy. She's getting a lot of support from people that never did support before just because of what may or may not have been done on the side of the bio mom, and that's heartbreaking to me. Why should someone else's actions dictate the way you think of lushy for the child exploitation going on. I don't think you have to be like one side or the other here. You can think both have, you know, done real fucked up things. You you don't have to pick a side. I, life is so about teams, eh? You have to be on a team. And so now people are dogging on the bio mom means they're going to be on lushy's team. That's so fucked up to me. Just, I don't know. I'm not one of those team people. You you can stand in the middle and not like either side or listen to both sides, but not like team up. And I don't know. The fact that this may have happened with the uh, bio mom in the way that the story is being told that it was, you know, like just kind of a, I don't even know how to say this. This is so weird. Touchy. It's weird when you're talking about a kid, you know, if the bio mom's actions, let's say, hadn't been. 100% genuine. Hmm? It still doesn't take away the fact that Lushy's been um, exploiting her kids for the internet, for the coins, for the fame of it all. It just doesn't. You know what I mean? You don't have to be Team Lushy now. Hmm. Oh. Oh, really? That's so cool. True story. I watched uh, DPC and YouTube recommended me. That's how I started watching you. Now I watch you and rarely watch DPC. Oh, that's really cute. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching. I, I'm honored <laughs> that YouTube recommended me with DPC. I really, really, who is DPC? It's the Dad Challenge podcast. His name is Josh. He's a Canadian guy. I always think that's, I think YouTube in Canada, like, purposely pushes Canadians on you. Because, like, I always get the Canadians pushed on me. You know what I mean? I found DPC a while ago, and he's talking about Lushy, and I also watch Lushy. I really, really like him. And don't get me wrong. I still really like him. I still really like Brit. I haven't changed my mind on either of these two people. You don't have to turn on someone either to acknowledge that a mistake may have been made. I just think it's, it's so unlike him too. I, I don't know. I really, I respect the shit out of him. I like him so much. Um, I'm surprised almost at how quickly he jumped at this. But again, when you don't like Lushy, you think you think you know what's up already. You're being contacted by the bio mom. The story sounds legit based on how you already feel about the Doherty's. I don't blame him, you know, but I do still think it was a mistake. So I'm very glad as a group we didn't jump on that. Um, not just humans and all animals. DNA to care about teams is a rudimentary way to survive. You're right. Absolutely right. Yeah. You love him. I love him too. He's a good guy. He's, just, he's such a, like a pure heart, you know what I mean, for the kids. And it's based on, let's say, his own trauma growing up and stuff. He's he's a really, really good guy. I like him. Uh, I have nothing negative to say. 
it's just a mistake, you know? Uh, true. I mean, th you're right. You're definitely right. I also think um, maybe, the you know, what he's been through in life is part of the reason that he jumped on this. A lot of times, you know, it's, uh, I didn't want to go there, but when Koki was, let's say, accused of a certain grapes, he likes grapes, apparently, remember, you know, the whole reason that he's at court now. I, I think my trauma kind of took over that day. I was finding out live and I said something about grape and uh, you know what it, it, it was it's not fair at that point you have to say like allegedly or whatever and i i just it's like my own trauma took over that day and i feel like maybe that's why josh jumped so fast to make that video you know what i mean it could be i like how he stands for protecting the kids i agree i agree i really really i like him i respect the crap out of him i have nothing nothing bad to say I mean, true. I don't resonate with him on everything either, but like just overall, as an overall, I think he's very genuine, a lot more genuine, let's say, than a lot of the other commentary channels, let's say about Lushy, you know, I just feel like his really comes from a place of like being a dad, having gone through some shit on his own also growing up, you know, I don't know. Oh, yeah. He, I love his little songs. He's very talented. You know what I mean? He's a good guy. He's, the dog's adorable. And I don't, I don't know. I just, I have nothing bad to say. I just want to be clear about that. I'm not trying to like talk mad shit about Josh. I still really like Josh. It's just a mistake. Um, all right. Well, so that was the whole discussion. That's why I've been avoiding talking Doherty Dozen literally for weeks now. I didn't know what to say about this whole thing. And I'm really glad we waited. <laughs> um. I don't know if anything, you know, if I would find out anything, how am I going to find out? But it's my snooping on the Reddit. If I find out anything or any clues or there's any sign that it's gone one way or another for real, we can definitely talk about it again. But I, like until then, I don't think there's anything more to say about this. H how do we know? We just don't know. And again, it's we're talking about a, a minor here. So maybe let's not, you know, that's the tea. We'll keep our eye out on the tea. Until there's more tea, we pivot. The pivot today, <laughs> Lushy. Lushy did it to me today. It's Friday. Yeah. It's the day before Greek Independence Day, de plus. And of all the countries she could have done for around the world night, she picked my homeland. Yes, that's right. She's making Greek food, y'all. And it's not good. This is an insult and an abomination to Greeks all over the world or foodies all over the world. Um, so I had to watch this one with you guys and it's for selfish purposes. I've never seen something like this before in my life. Let me get the video. Oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. Worse than Koki's? Ironically, yes. Koki made what he called a moussaka. It was not a moussaka. This one's about to cook what she calls a moussaka. It also was not a moussaka. From what I'm remembering, Koki's was a little closer to an actual moussaka, and that is saying a lot. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the Dr. D Dozen, and this is my dinner making routine. We're going to make dinner for my family of 14. Wednesdays are extra fun because it is around the world night. We pick a different country and uh, we research some recipes and I try and make these new recipes. Um, they don't always go wonderfully, but it's really fun. It's my favorite night of the week to cook um, and crock pot. Cro crock pot night or around the world night. It's a toss up, both my favorites. Anyways, uh, it's around the world night. We are making food from the country. Ah, moussaka is like a, like a casserole, a vegetable casserole with like a meat sauce on it and then um, bechamel sauce on top. It's delicious. A lot of uh, places even make with their own, let's say, version of a moussaka. The problem with this one is that she specifically says, we're doing around the world night. Tonight is Greece. And bitch, this is not anywhere near a traditional Greek moussaka. I've never seen something like this country of Greece tonight. So I found some Greek recipes. 
I'm going to start by prepping for the steak gyros. You guys told me I was saying it wrong. I apologize. Um, steak gyros. I'm going to slice up the steak and get the marinade going for that. Actually, I should get the marinade going and then slice up the steak so I can put it right in the marinade. That would make sense. I'll give her that one. Most people say gyros. She did say it right. People corrected her and she listened to them. It's gyros. She's really saying exaggerated, but yes, it's not a gyro. It's a gyro. And they're never made of steaks. So that's fucking weird. That's right. That's right. Oh my God. Look at Gucci Gang Gamer Girl. No one all about my cuisine. Uh, normally gyro, it's made from lamb, not beef, but whatever. A lot of people don't like lamb. I won't even hold that against her. I'll hold it against her when she prepares this beef. Uh-huh. Uh, and then we're making moussaka. I'm sure you're going to tell me I said that wrong because I'm really bad at pronouncing all of these <laughs> authentic cuisines. Um, and then we're making... Okay, like moussaka is like exactly the way it's written. You fucking idiot. A chickpea salad and I have two meetings tonight um six o'clock eight o'clock so I knew I wasn't gonna have to time to make the dessert I wanted to make so I just got donut holes and we're gonna like bake it as a Greek dessert the um I forget the name of it it's over on my menu but look <laughs> oh you know how Chantal eats lakmas well, lakmas are lukumades. Let's get the marinade going. Here we go. Girl, girl, you and me have the same heart. Pasticcio is absolutely better than moussaka. Come and fight me, any Greek on this planet. I don't care. I don't want to fucking hear it. It is. Pasticcio beats moussaka any day of the week. I don't like eggplant, okay? I don't like moussaka for that reason. I don't like to smell moussaka cooking because it stinks the house of eggplant. And when I was a kid, my dad used to make me special moussaka that had no eggplant in it. He would replace all of the eggplant with potatoes and um, zucchinis. Delicious. But yeah, yeah, eggplant does suck. Fucking vile, man. I fucking hate it so much. Um, this recipe is from, and I'm sorry, Bodhi is chilling in the playroom watching his YouTube something or other. He likes those video game YouTube shows. Um, so I apologize for the background noise. I know it's kind of annoying, but you know no what? one cares. No one cares. You're kind of annoying. You have a house with all these, I don't even want to say 12 kids anymore. I'm just going to say now all these kids. You have all these kids in the house. People would expect to hear the sounds of children in the background. Oh, I know it's annoying. You're annoying. I'd rather listen to the kids than watch her. I'm school all day and they want to decompress while I make dinner. So that's what it is. I don't, I don't mind. We're just going to have to block it out. If that annoys you, I'm sorry. So the marinade is, um, okay. The, oh, I know. This recipe, I was like, what was I should say? This recipe is from Gypsy. Rude. Frozen. Wait a minute. Lushy. Look at my computer is insulted by what she's about to do to my homeland's cuisine. And it just froze. What is this? Hold on. Let me reload this tab. Damn it. It works. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So the marinade is in like multiplying this recipe for 14 people uh, instead of four. So I'm going to do the original recipe says half a cup of EVOO. So I'm going to do two cups. Oh God, she's a Rachel Rayer. I should have known she likes Rachel Ray. EVOO is like a dead giveaway, right? That's the Rachel Ray thing. I can't stand Rachel Ray, her hair and all the cooking, just her sloppy fucking... Everything about her is sloppy. I can't stand Rachel Ray. 
And this one's cooking makes me sick too. And everything she cooks looks like a fucking Rachel Ray slop pot too. It's all making so much sense to me now. I don't think this bowl is going to be big enough. Four times four. Uh, like, can you always do the full? Okay, whenever it says minced garlic, this is what I use. I just use the pre cut minced garlic instead of the fresh garlic. I mean, it's. It's criminal is what it is. That's this fucking criminal. How dare you? You know, the least you could do, Lushy, you're trying to expose your children to cuisines from around the world for the first time. Why don't you make them right and make them taste good? And then maybe they'll be interested in them. Not one thing about what she's about to cook is done right. And yeah, I, I don't care. I, I don't fuck with that fucking garlic and come for me. Um, It's gross. It's weird. It smells funny. It tastes like pickly that is not garlic i don't fucking care she what does it take to, to chop up some damn garlic save your shit garlic for your normal shit cooking you're cooking greek food today the least you can do when you do around the world night is do it properly fuck it's fresh it's good that is not fresh or good it's like pickled garlic I don't always do the full amount of garlic. I personally love garlic. Just follow the fucking recipe. So she's going to put that shitty garlic that already doesn't taste like garlic. And she's not going to put enough garlic. You're cooking Greek food. Garlic is like, uh, it's, it's like the water in the Greek food. You better put the fucking garlic in. I'm so insulted with this already. I, I, oh, I'm so mad. And I know I've said it before and I'll probably say it again because this gets on my freaking nerves. She can't cook for shit. Her kids only eat box food and frozen shit and stuff. The, one day a week, they're being exposed to around the world night, which is good. Show them something outside of fucking Rochester, okay? Why not order food? You have all the money in the world. You love to order takeout and stuff. One time a week, like, for example, tonight you're doing Greek night? Okay, find the best Greek restaurant in Rochester that'll deliver to you and order Greek food. What's wrong with you? That's what you should do on Around the World Night. It really bothers me that she doesn't. You'd be, you know, supporting a local business. You would be eating the food the way God intended it to fucking taste. Uh, you, Your kids would actually be able to like, oh, I like this. Oh, I don't like this. Everything you cook is awful, man. There has to be a shit ton. There's so many Greeks all over New York. There, there has to be so many Greek restaurants near her. Like, that's no excuse, you know? She, she, oh, Vula's Greek Sweets? Is that in Rochester? Damn it, Vula's Greek Sweets. What are you, what are you waiting for, Lushy? And she lives near a huge dam too? Hmm. I ordered a gyro and lentil soup last night. Bless, love that. Marvin. <laughs> I'm dead now how much Frenchie hates this jarred garlic. Oh, no, I, I do not fuck with that jarred garlic. It doesn't even taste like garlic. What's the point? Just don't put in garlic, you know? Ugh, fuck. Fool. And I would do extra garlic. I would just eat this by the spoonful. But some people in my family, <clears throat> Josh, don't like garlic as much as I do. <laughs> Didn't you assume it was going to be one of the kids? I swear to God, I just assumed it would be a kid. No, it's her fucking uh, grown-ass toddler loser of a husband. Josh doesn't like garlic. Well, Josh can fuck off then. How about that? Josh can make himself a sandwich. Hmm? Everyone else should eat like shit because Josh doesn't like garlic. Ugh. If my dad reacted to this, first of all, <laughs> I'd probably lose my channel with everything he'd have to say about this shit. He, he, he would have an aneurysm. So I'm not going to do like the full amount do a bit. And that's probably James. Hold on. All right. I mean, yes, Josh is definitely, he's a toddler, but he's actually the husband. So yes and no. Juice. Oh my gosh. I ordered a juicer, a, a lemon juicer thingy. 
should be getting it this week. I placed this. You're not cute. I don't know why these little things she does gets under my nerves. And you're the lemon juice or thingy, thingy. Ma'am, you're you're like the 40-something-year-old mother of, well, that's a questionable, 11 or 12 or God only knows. In the lemon thingy, you're not cute. Stop it. It's not adorable to act useless. I hate women who do that. It really pisses me off. And even more so when you got all them damn kids. You're not useless. Stop playing cutesy poo. Just juice the freaking lemons. Huge order. I'll do an unboxing from Timu. Timu. Is that how you say it? Anyways, one lemon. Okay, so I need four lemons juice. I look into the oregano. Give me a moment. Nope. Can you imagine how old that oregano is? When? Okay. When is the last time Lushy pulled out oregano to use? You know, spices go bad, right? And then they don't taste like anything, right? So not only does your Greek food not have garlic in it, but it's going to only have the visual aspect of oregano and no actual flavor of oregano. Nice. It's a spice. It's a Greek spice. Okay. Oregano. See? Oh, good. I thought it was brown. I thought it was like a brown green. Yeah, it's four tablespoons of oregano no 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 throw it away you love to go shopping this is so stupid if this doesn't highlight the problem with the way lushy shops okay and just who she is fundamentally you go shopping a million times a week you love to film a shopping trip and you look for extra things to put in your cart. Throw out those spices, just all of them. Take all those spices, except for probably the salt and the pepper that you use, all of them in the garbage and buy them new. You're making Greek food for fuck's sake, man. Buy a fresh oregano. What is wrong with you? Thing, but this one will work. It's just a whole one. Four tablespoons equivalent to a quarter cup. Or am I making that up in my head? Okay. For the love of God, just throw it in the bottle. I'm going to have an aneurysm sitting here. I swear to God. She just dumped a little bit of that fucking expired ass oregano back in the bottle. Girl, it tastes like nothing. You could have dumped the whole bottle in there. It's still going to taste like nothing. What is wrong with you? Cakes, red pepper flakes, red, whatever you call it. And some salt and pepper. Girl, this is me smoking the triple burger. If not, I would have knocked the computer screen off of the table by now. Ah, uh, hey, Ryan, you, you get back to class. You listen to the teachers. <laughs> we'll see you later. Oh, oh, oh. And we have a, a pretty... Well, it's not a good giveaway. It's a stupid gelato mint giveaway. Uh, I got the Cornwall Monopoly finally. Yes, bitch. I found it yesterday in Cornwall, thanks to Shannon. Uh, so we're going to be giving that away tonight on the YouTube channel. And I'm sorry we didn't go live yesterday, Shannon and I. To be totally honest, the, the time just kind of got away with us. We're having a really good fucking time. And we're like, yeah, fuck it. We're not going live. But next week, we have something hilarious, insane. And pretty fucking stupid planned. I'm excited. <laughs> Mix this up. All right. Now, let's get our steak cut out. Um, it really said you could pretty much use whatever steak you wanted. I got sirloin and strip steak because that's what the store had. Oh, 
my god. She's gonna use those nice steaks to cut up. God, she just her hair is in the food. Well, she apparently loves Rachel Ray, so she probably just follows Rachel Ray. Food in no hair and food, food and hair. What? <laughs> I like. I like it. I'm gonna trim it for the for the gyro. Listen, listen. She cooks every single cuisine wrong, and that's including her own. She cooks like shit. It's just that simple. Cooks like shit. Around the world night should be ordered. You never had real Greek food? Did she me gasp for air? Those steaks for euros. Yeah, either she doesn't. There must be a few kids in the house who don't like lamb. They probably never had fucking lamb before in their life. So she got beef. What's what is her cuisine exactly? No, she's from Rochester. The garbage plate is apparently the the Rochester cuisine. <laughs> I would respect a garbage plate much more than I would want. I respect this. <gasps> Gotta have Avogadro lemon oat. Yeah. Why not make an Avogadro lemon? <laughs> she probably can't do it. I don't know. Uh, Avogadro lemon is like my fave. Now my wa my mouth is watering. Thanks, damn it. <laughs> Look at her shitty knife, dude. You see the way she has to cut the steak? Look at how badly that knife is going through. She's a white claw chef. She really is. Oh, to enter the, wait, how do we enter the giveaway? Okay, so later, later, it's it's on YouTube. I don't know how to do giveaways over here, to be totally honest. When when our stream is over and it uploads as a video, just leave a comment. And then I use the, the random comment picker and pick from there. Because then I think, yeah. Anyways, Around the World Night definitely takes me longer than my typical... Ooh, I like this. Frenchie, please tell me what to cook for lunch. Okay, well, lunch is easy. Keep it uh, simple. Uh, do you have sandwich ingredients in front of you? Or a soup that you could just maybe crack open, heat up, and eat. Or oh, maybe a little crackers, maybe a little hummus. I don't know. I'm a low-maintenance lunch kind of biatch. I put all my chips are on supper. Like <laughs> For me, suppers are like, I'll cook. I will bust out a knife and start like chopping some vegetables and shit. Any other time of the day, fuck all the way off with that shit. Now, sandwich, something to slap between bread. Uh, omelet, that's a nice easy one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Funny, you were dreaming of playing Monopoly last night. Maybe I'm going to win. Oh, you never know. Maybe it was a sign. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Homemade hummus slaps. Agreed. Agreed. What? Hummus is gross? Man, you and me, we have like opposite palates. You never had Greek food. Hummus is good. I, I could just sit with a spoon and fucking eat hummus. I love hummus. Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> it's like choosing between your children. <laughs> okay, probably pistachio. It is what it is. All right, I love a pistachio baklava. But every once in a while, I do like the walnut. It's very different. It's very delicious. I won't shit on either one of them, but I think pistachio is my fave. You didn't like hummus until you made your own. Okay, see, that's very valid. I can imagine that. Pre-made or store-bought hummus, it's just never going to be as good as homemade. Mm -mm -mm. You love hummus and pistachio for me. All right, see, you and me have the same kind of palate, the same kind of vibe. I don't know. You prefer the walnuts? I can respect that, honestly. It's it's very good. They're all good. Dinners. Uh, mostly because I don't know these recipes. And oh, yeah, me too. Tweety, listen, I'm not even picky about that shit. I will lick the bottom of a store-bought hummus container. I don't care. It's definitely fun like to it. try something new. However, I really only have time for it about once a week. Because our schedule is insane. Around the world night, the day changes like each season. It's been pretty consistent Wednesdays for a while. But if Jamie, listen, no hate. I, I'm I'm now genuinely curious. What do you eat? What do you eat every day? Where are you from? Oh my god, I have so many questions, girl. 
no hummus, no Greek food. What else? How could you not have hummus though? It's so like everywhere, you know? Hmm. Oh, olives, hummus, and pita. I'm an olive charmoot too. And I always hate to admit that now because Chantal hate, uh, loves olives so much. And I, so I'm like, oh, I have to fight my olive addiction. Olive. I love all olives. I could sit and eat all the olives. So good. I just unlocked chat after following. Spicy girl. Hey, girl. Are you shitting me? Baklava is gross too? What part of it is gross? The delicious nuts. The sweetness of the phyllo, the, the thinness of the whole damn thing. The honey drenched all over it. Oh my God, girl. I'll try anything once, Shormuta. I like that. <laughs> same, girl, same. <laughs> really? No chickpeas or olives for you. All right. All right. You hadn't had hummus or any Greek food until I was a late teenager. That's so interesting. What did I have not had until I was a teenager? Nothing except for sushi. And I still stand by that at almost 40 years old. Horseback riding night changes than around the world night changes because it has to be on a night that we don't have horseback riding. Because I can't be here and at the bar. I'm trying to crack pot night on bar. Okay, here's the real question. Well, she's so like <laughs> background right now. <laughs> What's what do you prefer, tiropita or spanakopita? Which is your favorite? I never fuck with spanakopita. That's my whole life. Tiropita is the only one that counts. I can eat one in each hand. The whole rest of the family would have their spanakopita, and my dad would get me the tiropita. Mmm, mmm. Oh, so good. Bar nights. <laughs> she's tearing the meats because whatever the fuck that knife is is like not oh god look at her Blech, cutting the thing Blech, that little pad they put under it oh, so gross she's not using a good knife for that meat ah I remember that time <laughs> You know, it's why everybody only fucks with the uh, Spanish capita. Where I went to high school, there was a Greek restaurant just down the street. And me and my best friend, who was also Greek, we used to go to that Greek restaurant all the time. And the owner fucking loved us because it was like, ah, the two Greek girls that come in all the time, you know? Okay. So it was my birthday. And I was like, I want a uh, Tito Pita today for my lunch. And he's like, oh, we don't make Tito Pita. I was like, oh, okay. So I picked something else. And he comes to me before we finished eating and he whispers at me. He goes, I make you special uh, tiro pita for your birthday. You come back 3.30. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so we like went back there at 3.30 after school and he had made a little tiro pita for me for my birthday with a candle in it. It was so cute. Hey, Miracle. I did not get to try candy supply today as I had planned to get the chickens, mealworms, and the dogs, new dog food. But thank you for all the comments on dog food suggestions. Um, I'm still going to go there and look around and look at the ingredients and stuff because I've been kind of... Oh, okay. Hey, Shay Shay. She doesn't even edit. Why is it so hard to blur some kids' faces who don't want to be on the camera? I don't get it. I genuinely believe it's because she spends too many hours a day just filming live. Everything is being streamed. She... she doesn't have the time to sit and go through the footage, the time or the desire, I should say, to sit and go through the footage and make sure there's no kids and like edit that shit out. The logical solution, and there is one to me, we know she's making a shit ton of money. Don't let this little shinsy kitchen fool you. We all get it. We get it when we see the $40,000 Christmas and all the way she blows money on stupid things. Why the hell can't she hire someone to do her editing all it would take you have like an editor you send them your raw footage and and the point of it is you get the kids face out 
The kids who don't want to be filmed, you get them out of the video. Okay. And the person sends it back with their faces blurred or little bits edited out or whatever. It's such a simple solution. She's unwilling to spend that money. They're researching what the best dog food are. Um, just because there's newer research on it. That's true. Spanakopita. I just assumed everyone had heard of it. Spanakopita is like uh, the, the pie that most people have heard of. The Greek pie with like uh, spinach and cheese pie. So then a tiropita is just the cheese pie. We don't fucks with the spinach in my pie. It's just cheese. And it is superior. Can I need some new batteries? Yeah. Okay. Can I need some new batteries? Um, oh, the batteries go away. Oh, my six o'clock meeting just got canceled. So, Jamie's like, What language are you even speaking? <laughs> uh, awesome. Text Josh. Okay, it was sort of like a quiche. I mean, it's got no eggs going on. I mean, there's a little egg in the mix, but it's not like an eggy thing. It's just, it's like a solid fucking cheese Nyeh. inside of dough. There's two kinds of <laughs> dough. They either make them in, um, what do you call it? Filo. You can have them in filo. And it becomes like, it's sort of like a Greek version of the Jamaican patty. It's like a Greek patty. Huh? Cheese in a dough and you can walk down the street eating it. That's our thing. I don't fuck with filo like that though. The other option is zimi. You get it in the zimi, and the zimi is like actual pastry dough. You know, oh, it's so good. It, and yeah, you like the phyllo ones? I know most people do. I just, I, oh, I can't send the fucking phyllo. I'm trying to eat walking down the street because I'm a pig like that, and there's fucking phyllo all over my shirt and stuff. Nah, nah, nah. I eat the dough on the street. Oh, yes, yes. She barely washed her hands there for fuck's sake. That's definitely going to be more involved. It's true. And I edited it out because the kid came into the kitchen, right? She barely washes her hands. She's been cutting meat. Barely fucking cuts it. Anyway. And the kid comes in and needs batteries changed in their toy. So now she's touched the toy. She's opened the toy, put new batteries in, hasn't even cleaned her hands properly. <laughs> also are going... Agreed. Totally. Bambi, that, that, no, not enough. And another thing, wait a minute, it's just hitting me. I for, it's like I forgot what she was allegedly making. Why the hell would you be cutting up meat like that to make gyro? That doesn't even make sense. Gyro meat is all thin and stuff. Gyro meat. Gyro, damn it. Gyro meat is all like, you know, like thinly sliced. What are these big ass chunks? This is so weird. <laughs> Oh, your muffin cup. Sure. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. I don't know that she's ever eaten one if this is how she thinks he'd make it. That's why, yeah, it does look like she's cutting it into like stewing cubes. Freaking weird. Okay, I'm just gonna skip ahead till she's done cutting this meat because, like, we see she's just fucking it all the way up. Oh, look at her. For the love of God, would you look at the amount of meat she just ruined? She's fine. I'm going to take mom. We'll take it the quicker way down. Okay. And bye. Okay. 
I don't fucking understand. <laughs> but yeah, that bowl makes me sick. <laughs> She's absolutely sick. If you cook like shit and every week you're trying to introduce your kids to uh, cuisine from around the world, how are they ever going to like any cuisine from any fucking country in the world? You fuck it up literally every week. I, I can't. <laughs> there will be kids who will have tasted a gyro and not liked it because Lushy made it. And look at this. Look at that bowl. That's an, oh, just throw it away. <laughs> But also don't throw it away. That's way too much meat. What a lunatic. That Yes, that's kind of what I thought she was going to do. <laughs> what? okay, I get it. You're using this meat instead of lamb. Fine, fine. I thought she would cook up the steaks, cut them all thin and shit, and then do that. You know? Um. Nope. Nope. Is the four-year-old going to be chewing through these giant cuts of beef? You know what I mean? It's so stupid. Oh, damn, I didn't even catch that at all. Good eye. She threw away an entire steak when she discarded the packages. What is wrong with her? She just got fed up of chopping? Is that it? Wow. Let me cover this. Okay. Oh, is this the first time you're handling meat? Okay, I'm gonna prep the moussaka. Um, oh, good, good God. I'm just converting because it says kilogram. Are we talking pounds here? So I have to figure out. So 2.2 pounds. Well, hi, honey. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to use this whole bag of red potatoes. Um, okay. Yes. You guys can. <laughs> Marvin, I wouldn't say I'm offended by people saying gyro, but it's like, it's just not how you say the word. It's like, why do people go out of their way to say a word wrong? I don't know. We have electronics time in family. Okay. Body Blaze, you can turn that off and go to your electronics time. Yeah, I guess I only got two. Let me just check the fridge and make sure one didn't roll out up there. Is she fucking batshit crazy? She knows she only bought two. Look at her pretending. She did not buy enough eggplant. Okay. Oh my god, did one of them roll out in the fridge? Like, you're the one who went shopping. What's the matter with you? Do you not know if you bought two or three? Lushy, are you high? Yeah. You only got two eggplants. So, <laughs> she looks, I'm not going to peel these, though, because I think I bought the wrong type of potatoes. Useless fuck. Okay, okay. Oh, should we count what's been wrong with this meal so far, just since the beginning? Uh, I think her olive oil is very old. I haven't seen her buy olive oil in a long time. That oregano needed to be put into the garbage. That was not the right kind of meat. That meat was not cut properly. Your marinade looked like shit. You didn't have garlic in it at all. I didn't see any salt or pepper in that marinade at all. You didn't clean your hands properly going in and out of the meat. You have a toy now contaminated with your four-year-old playing in the living room. You've bought the wrong kind of fucking potatoes to make moussaka, and you only have two eggplants. We're not even done yet. We are... 16 minutes into this 57 minute video and that's what's been wrong so far um so when do i put in the onions okay. 
That's all I'm saying. And not just this week, every week when they do around the world night, I think it like, that's the whole point. Fucking order around the world night. What is wrong with you? It would be delicious and you'd be supporting a local business and your kids would taste the way the, the food is supposed to fucking taste. Her up, I gotta pick James up, but she might bring Brie home. Brie's not a friend's house. James is not a friend's house. Is she from this Somehow at the end of the day, we try and have everyone home for dinner. It doesn't always happen, but we try. Alright, I'm gonna do a pan of potatoes and a pan of eggs. Ich, ich. I hate eggplant so much. Although I do like baba ganoush, so I guess I can't really say I hate eggplant. Eggplant in any form besides baba ganoush, I can't stand it. She didn't even take a zucchini. She's not putting zucchini at all? Wow. That's a choice. This is giving very much like a cokey, shitty, half-assed recipe. Green electronics sour. <laughs> Okay, I just want to see her get to those potatoes because I swear to God, I don't think she's going to like wash them. She just drowned them in a bowl of water and drained the water. And I think she's just going to make those potatoes like that. No, 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 no. You use normal fucking potatoes for Musaka and you cut them in rings like you cut the eggplant. Same thickness, sort of important, supposed to be around the same size, sort of important. No, not this. Are you, for fuck's sake. The whole idea is that everything cooks at the same rate, okay? Those potatoes are going to be gone by the time everything else cooks at that Musaka. What is wrong with you? Gone and like mush. Josh is texting me. Sorry. That's another really good point. True bet. Pondu, you're right. She did not do that at all. That moussaka is going to taste like shit. Oh my God. Salt it. Let them sit there. It does take the bitterness out. It drains out a bit of the liquid. You know, she didn't do that. That's how we do it. Modern day parenting through text. Sorry, I need to get this sippy cup right there. Okay, I have the oven. Not all of them are listed in the ingredients. I don't care to hear her stupid story. She tells the story of how she bought the wrong ingredients to make this Greek food. She went through the little story part. Uh, 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 whatever, irrelevant. Lushy is losing her shit now, clearly distracted with something, and read the ingredients list wrong and bought the wrong shit. And okay, and if I'm remembering correctly, I'm trying to picture my dad doing this. I don't think he cooks them in the oven. I think he fried, or am I remembering this wrong? I'm pretty sure my dad used to fry the stuff first and then assemble it. 
Yes, he used to fry the shit and put them on paper towels to absorb the like uh, extra like grease, whatever from like not deep frying them, but shallow frying in a pan, and then assemble the moussaka from that. It wasn't done in the oven. See? I'm in the garage. Oh. Let me look up the measurement. Okay, Bree just got home. She's opening her mail. Do you need help? I'm going to brown up one pound of ground beef and then we'll chop up our onions. All right, I am in the garage. Um, this is where we keep the majority of our food. Let me just put that back. Someone got that out. Uh, and there's basketball. Anyways, I need to get, this is where we keep the tomato products. I need to get tomato paste and tomato sauce. And then I needed the diced tomatoes because I didn't get crushed tomatoes. Okay, um, putting the ground beef in the freezer for next week. She's just bringing a random hunk of like minced meat to the freezer for next week. Am I the only one who, like, before you put something like that in the freezer, you take all the air out of the bag? That bag is, like, loaded with air. There's as much air in that bag as meat. What's she doing? Uh... Yeah, her pantry is a store, but it's a store that she rarely ever shops at. It's so rare to see her go to the pantry and actually take something. She buys everything for every recipe. So all this pantry shit just ends up slowly expiring. I knew there was something else I needed. Okay, I added the onions to the ground beef, and now we're going to add in the rest yeah, of the Gucci game Gamer Girl, you're right. In a baggie, too. It's like the easiest place to flatten it out. What a freaking... So lost on this recipe because it doesn't say the measurement for <laughs> chicken stock. I have no idea. Oh, gosh. Oof. Yes, I did tell her to buy Greek food. Hmm? She can t uh, shop her stockpile of crap when she's making things she's actually, in her mind, knows how to make. Hmm? Around the world night is the shittiest of all her cooking all week. That's the night they should order out. Not fucking McDonald's all the time for no goddamn reason. I gotta probably should find a different recipe. Or just keep going and just hope for the best. Sorry, that was my can opener. Uh, I cannot stand this woman's cooking. No, that's, yeah, that's funny. Oh, no, they didn't tell me quantities. It's like, have you never cooked anything before? Are you not able, you're 40-something years old? You you just, you can't go off of, like, your own, let's say, cooking experience and maybe, like, oh, well, when I made this that was similar, I used this much. Fucking eyeball it, bro. Wiggy, wiggy. Oh my god! <laughs> Just winging it. I wonder where Dixie is. I'm only laying with the kids. <laughs> that pan is giving me the heaves. Alright, so we are going to reduce this. I mean, I love that theory, but I'm guessing people told her to do around the world night this week because it's Greek Independence Day tomorrow. Down. You know what you're not supposed to do is boil the minced meat in some fucking chicken broth. Everything she makes is just good. And then put in our spices. <laughs> what spices? Find the allspice. I'm going to do a quarter cup of parsley. 
dry parsley, of course. God forbid you bought a fresh one. And diced tomatoes. Sauce. I should have used a bigger pan. This is making my nose run. And a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, that was not a teaspoon of cinnamon. I fucking hate you. Get that out of there right now. Look at, no, no. NASA enhanced, no, no. She didn't just do that. <laughs> Put, take the pan to the bathroom and flush the whole fucking thing. Throw it away. Take it off of this planet Earth. Get rid of that thing now. Yeah, that's like a cup of fucking cinnamon. Oh my God. No, no. <laughs> I hate cinnamon in like the meat sauce, okay? I, I don't like any cinnamon in the meat sauce. What is that? One teaspoon. Teaspoon. Oh, she put in a cup of cinnamon. It's going to be so disgusting. I can't, I can't. And this is going on what already is a fucked up moussaka. God damn it. Her kids are going to hate the cuisine of every country in the world. Sorry. He just mashed it in. Mm, I cry. How dare you do this, bitch? Okay. While this simmers, I'm going to bring in the steak for the euros. Yeah, you know what the best thing is? The best thing, the best thing. <laughs> At the beginning, while she made the marinade for the fucking steaks, okay, she put, remember, a little too much oregano on the uh, measuring spoon, and she actually dumped some oregano back in the container for a marinade, and it's oregano that probably doesn't have any taste left anyway. You could have dumped in 10 tons of fucking oregano. It wouldn't have mattered. But the cup of cinnamon you just dropped into the meat sauce. No, that's cool. Let's just fucking stir it all in. And get that cooking. This has to simmer for 15 minutes once it gets cooking. Oh, see, that's a conspiracy theory that I like. Maybe that's why she does this, to get her kids to hate on other countries' foods, trying to keep them home, and only liking McDonald's equals less money and effort for her. Not money, effort, like uh, work and like effort. She doesn't have to cook. She can just drive to the McDonald's. It's one stop. Everybody loves McDonald's. Oh, my God. You know what? I really like that theory. Ooh. I changed my mind. I'm going to make this sauce that I'm not even going to try to pronounce um, so that I can get the moussaka assembled. And then while that is in the oven, the kids are going to have a little bit longer electronics. Yeah, I you Canadian. You need a breather? You need a breather before she assembles? We can take a little intermission. I go in the oven for 45 minutes, I think. Um... I gotta get those veggies out. Um, we'll make the sauce, assemble the moussaka, put it in the oven. While that's in the oven, then we'll make the steak and make up the euros. Warm up. Oh, good God, she's about to make the bechamel. This is the moment. Oh, and there's ads. Well, if that wasn't kismet right there, this is the moment for the breather. <gasps> The bechamel. I love a bechamel, okay? It's the make it or break it part of any food. Like, this thing is already broke, okay? She can't make shit with her bechamel. But it's like, you either do it right or you don't. And it's, if it's clumpy and not done right, like, don't do it at all. Hmm? Sometimes you make it a besh, and it's like, you have to check it. It doesn't work out, okay? You check it and you start over. She's not going to check it. She's probably never done this before. The whole meal is so fucked already. She's, oh, this is going to be lumpy shit. She's going to pour all over it. <laughs> oh, my God. This is horrific. Lushy's cooking or Cokie's cooking? Oh, no. <laughs> I have to think about This is a thinker, too. I think 
I'm going to pick Lushy only because one simple reason she tends to overcook everything. So while both of them can't cook for shit, at least there's no four minute fried chicken going over at Lushy's. Lushy could cook the fried chicken for four hours and it'll be dry as a bone. We remember the turkeys at Thanksgiving. Remember how dry those motherfuckers were? I would rather eat a cinder block of a chicken than die of, uh, you know, Cokie's cooking. I'm picking Lushy. Ooh, but that's quite the, the choice there. Yeah, you remember the turkeys, huh? The turkeys were bad. Oh, the turkeys were so bad. <laughs> but yeah, still not as bad as, yes, Bambi, he made four-minute fried chicken. He cooked a tuna steak the next day for one hour, but he made four-minute fried chicken. It was amazing. And by amazing, I mean completely raw. Mm, yeah. Heather Bell is a good cook. I like her cooking. Some of the things she comes up with, I'm like, oh, I would try that. You know, she cooks most things from scratch, which I also appreciate because I also do. I'm never going to like, even if Lushy didn't cook like shit, there's nothing Lushy makes that I'd be like, oh, I'm going to try that. Because everything starts with like a canned this or a canned that, something from the freezer. Like, I don't cook like that. I'm never going to cook like that. Heather Bell does, you know? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, people said sorry to the fish. That poor fish. Ugh. That's right. That's right. I, You know, you might break a tooth. <laughs> but I'd rather break a tooth than die. Just saying. Okay, have we had our breather? I'm going to light my J. <laughs> get your drink. Get your J. Get your what, whatever the hell you're doing. All right. We're going in for the bechamel and the fucking assembly of this abomination. Have some milk. And the two no, is that what that is? No, no, no. Is that what this is? That's craft Parmesan cheese? <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. And the butter up. Aw, oh, she's such an asshole. She really gonna put that shit on the well, I mean, why not? This whole thing sucks anyway. What the hell do I care? Puff of butter. This recipe I chose is just really confusing. What's up with the eggs? Why is there eggs? I don't remember ever there being eggs. It smells amazing. I took the eggplant out. I had the potatoes cooking a bit longer. Oh, booty thing. Total sidebar, but I love the question. FFG. Okay, I want your opinion and chats. What kind of schedule I choose for work? Nine, wait, four nines and a four. Four tens or the regular five eights. I hope this makes sense. It makes total sense to me. I used to have a job where I did four twelves, which was great because it was full time plus four hours of overtime a week, which was killer. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, and you had the extra full ass day off. If you got it in you, okay? I'm not saying push yourself to do things you can't do, but if you if you like you know you and what you're capable of, dude, summer is coming. Take the four tens. Mm, little extra day off. Nothing wrong with that. Yes, it's so good. 
We're gonna be two eggs. Now this is two eggs. And oh, look at everybody taking the four tens. Everybody in the chat. I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Egg yolks. Which one do I do? I think I'll just do egg yolks. There's no eggs needed here. I don't know why she's breaking eggs. You're st <laughs> she's starting the bejmel and the first thing is wrong. There's no eggs. Tabarnak. Unless she's making something out. This maybe this doesn't have to do with the bej. I'm very confused. Oh my gosh, come on. What in the actual fuck is this woman doing right now? For real, for real. No soap, no nothing, egg man, egg soap with water doesn't do anything. Water spreads shit around. Um, all right. Once the butter has melted, we're gonna add in the flour and then the milk and then the egg. I swear to God, I've never seen someone do this with egg. Why would you put an egg after you put in the milk? It's done, bro. It's you leave it alone. You put in the cheese and you call it a day and not the cheese you have on the counter. <sighs> what is she making? Is this like how you make custard or something? I don't know, but there's something really wrong about to happen. Mix it in with you stuff. Or it will quickly burn and the whole thing will burn. Throw it the fuck in? What are you doing? Oh, no. Uh, no. It, mm -hmm. She's doing this too slow with the flour, number one. Number two, she, I think she's mixed up the time, like the uh, putting in a tiny bit, a tiny bit. You do this with the milk. <laughs> you don't have to be so fucking fuzzy with the flour. Get it in there. That doesn't look like enough flour either. For the love of God, let you go and get some more flour. Okay, okay. Uh, ooh. Even if you've never made, I understand she has never made bechamel before. Fine. You're American. You never made a roux. Because it's sort of at this point. It's so, yeah, I mean, a, a little looser than a roux, but for fuck's sake, this is not a soup. Get some more flour in the pan. Oh my lord. <laughs> There's not enough flour in there and she's gone too long with it already. Mm -hmm. She should be at like milk at this point. Oh my god. Four cups of milk on top of that liquid now. Uh... Oh. 
This is so bad, like, so, so bad. Every single step of everything she's put today has been wrong. Move the whisk. Oh my God, you have to keep it moving for fuck's sake, bro, go! Stop, don't, oh my God. <laughs> Dainty whisk. Lushy whisk the shit out of that thing. This is horrific. And now she's gonna dump a couple of eggs in there for no reason at all. I'm so confused. What is going on? So then it says, well, she just turned it off. Oh, don't forget to add the egg yolk and nutmeg. Oh, what the fuck? No. <laughs> nutmeg on top with all that cinnamon inside uh, an egg. Uh. And nutmeg and stir. I'm not alive. I'm so good for something. I'm confused. Who the hell told her to put eggs in this? It's like, it's like, you know that episode of Friends where Rachel was making the trifle and she does like half of a recipe from one recipe and then the, the pages got stuck and it becomes like a raspberry trifle. Some the, Her pages got stuck. Nobody told you to put eggs in this. Long two days. And now we're going to return the heat until so it's thick. Oh my God. Stop thinking to what? You can fucking do drywall with that shit right now, bro. Assemble the Mustafa. Yep. Put it on their foil liner. I want to watch this pants. I'm vlogging. <laughs> Shame just thought I completely lost my mind. I just think all that did put her hair up. She probably worked up a sweat doing all that whiskey wrong. <laughs> you just looked at me like, who are you talking to? All right. Oh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> Just no. No. You don't spray some shit. <sighs> Go back. Why are we going back? What did I miss? Oh, I'm not going back that far. <laughs> She's using one of the liners, I think, from her crock pot. Okay. She likes, she likes a quick cleanup. Fine. Why are you spraying the bottom of that? You didn't drain any of your vegetables. Your uh, potatoes are going to be greasy as all fuck. And the potato layer on the bottom is only so that everything else doesn't stick anyway. You don't need to spray the bottom. That's stupid. Why is that liner huge? Because it's supposed to be for her massive fucking crock pot. You, ever, you know the, the big fucking crock pot she has? Those two of them? Or I think one might be her mother-in-law's. Whatever, whatever. It's to, to line those, you know? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> just thought I completely lost my mind. I just seen all that concern. You <laughs> just looked at me like, who are you talking to? All right. Do red crumbs on the bottom. What? Maybe this is my dad's breakfast. I've never had moussaka that had breadcrumbs on the bottom. Uh, uh, <laughs> why? Why would you put breadcrumbs on the bottom of a moussaka? Okay. <laughs> 
FFG, do you like to cook? Um, <laughs> this is a loaded answer. Uh, I can cook. I can really throw it down. I can cook well, okay? Like, 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 um, all of people food, put it that way. My, my vein is Greek and like anything cumin flavored, but, uh, I'm also now pushing 40 and sick to death of fucking cooking. <laughs> is that fair? I am fed up of cooking. I'm done now with cooking. Fuck. But I can cook. Fuck all that noise though. I hate it. This is so triggering. I, you said, said, Tweety loves cooking. Oh, she likes to make her steak with her wine. <laughs> Did you end up finding a better deal on your rosé, you fucking snood? <laughs> Potatoes. Exactly, Nem. Can cook, don't want it anymore. I'm fed up. What, what even is this? You just dumped a shit ton of the wrong potatoes cooked too long into breadcrumbs. That's not moussaka. I've never seen this before in my life. I don't know what the fuck she's making now. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. Well, sweetie, felicitation. <laughs> oh, hey, Shakira's jam jar. And then a layer of parmesan. No, 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 no. Again, what are you making? What, what is that? When someone tells you a layer of eggplant on top of a layer of potatoes, this is what she gives you. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Okay. It's all supposed to be rings. You lay out all the rings till it's like a solid covering, let's say of the potato rings on the bottom. And then of the eggplant rings, not just like random few pieces laid out on top. That is so stupid. And then where's the zucchini? Where is the zucchini pieces? That is the third veggie layer. What is wrong with you? You didn't even get all the things, man. And then you're going to put your shaky ass cheese. That's not even where you put the, you're not at cheese place yet. And you're already putting cheese. Every single thing has been wrong. This whole meal is wrong. Everything. I love that so much. Like, I've never been so bothered by one of her videos before. I feel this one in my fucking soul. I want my dad to make me sack in there just out of spite. And then... Oh, come on. Did you see how much of that shit she just sprinkled on top? <laughs> wait, ads. Someone goes, wait, <laughs> Stella... Don't stop the video. I can't take it. No, no fries left behind. <sighs> Helen, mm, today, he would have a lot to say. <laughs> he would have a lot to say. I'm not even the, listen to how bothered I am. I've never made a moussaka in my life. Not even once. My dad cooks that kind of shit. You want that kind of shit? Like you, you just, you ask him, he'll cook it. You know what I mean? I'm not making all of that. Oh, get, no. <laughs> Again, I could. I'm not fucking doing it. Why would I when I can just make a call? Hmm? I love stuffed peppers, stuffed tomatoes. One one time last year, we were talking about it on a stream. Um, and we went live twice that day. I forget how the hell it worked out. But early in the day, I was like, ooh, I would love to have gamista. Um, like stuffed peppers, stuffed tomatoes. In the, at nighttime, we were live again. There's a fucking knock at my door. I go to the door. It's my dad with a big fucking tray just full of stuffed peppers and tomatoes. I'm like, I'm live. He goes like, okay, bye. And he just walks away. I was like, yes. You know, I'm not making those things, but I love those things. This 
cinnamon. Shut the fuck up. You fucked it up with the cinnamon. Don't tell me that that cinnamon smells good now. I swear to God, I I just said I never made a moussaka before, and then we're watching this bitch really fuck one up. I want to make one now out of spite. I'm going to make my first moussaka of life out of spite. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Of the eggplant. Oh, my God. What are you doing? More harm. No, 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 no. What are you? It is like a Greek version of lasagna. It's really not, though. The Greek version of lasagna is pasticcio, and everybody fucking knows that. Did you put a noodle in there? Just because you're layering wrong doesn't make it a fucking lasagna. There's no noodles in there. Huh? It's a vegetable casserole layered. Hmm? Our lasagna is called pasticcio. And that's what you probably should have made today because it's a lot easier. Uh, it is. A, it'll be, yes, a spite saka. <laughs> oh. I think I should show this to him just for shits and gigs. <laughs> oh my God, that looks awful. Oh, okay, okay. Does, does anyone? Is, does anyone find this appetizing at all? I still can't understand the point of the egg. What's the egg going to do? Is it going to make it fluffy? So like, even if you fucked up your best, you'll still get a little fluffy top. Maybe, maybe it's like a cheat. Oops. <laughs> yeah. And okay. This is just personal opinion. That bechamel is too thin. It's the, sort of the best part of the whole damn thing. It's delicious, the topping. Put the fucking topping on. Don't be so cheap about it. It looks like, um, you know, like a seven layer dip. It's the vibe that it's giving me. Those are just some beans she spread on the top. No, oh my God. Stop it. Stop it. No, no, you're hurting me now. This hurts my soul. Look, it doesn't even want to come out. It's like, no, you're making it worse. It does look like mashed potatoes. You're right. Ugh. 45 minutes. Okay, I'm going to make the chickpea salad. I got this recipe from Ambitious Kitchen. And while I'm making the salad, I'm going to get the steak cooking. So I've got oil heating oh up on God. the stove. I'm going to have to do this in batches, um, like five to six minutes each batch. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, she, again, how can you fuck up a salad? She'll find a way. Why not just make a Greek salad? It's an actual thing. <laughs> Everybody knows what a Greek salad is. It's, it's somewhat simple. Why does that have to be chickpeas and this and that? And like, you suck at cooking. You should be looking for the simple things to make.
chickpeas or our beans drained, uh, rinsed and drained. Why, yes, a Greek salad with feta. <laughs> I told you, even feta has its place in life. And to me, it's in a Greek salad. Well, keep it contained to its place. Know your place, feta. Huh? Fuck off a little bit, feta. But that's its place. Of course she can't soak her own beans. I bet unless she's never soaked beans in her life. One red bell pepper, one yellow bell pepper, one green bell pepper, diced red onions, one diced red onions, 15 grape tomatoes. I gotta grab okay, one cucumber. I mean, kids eat salad if they're used to it or forced to it. Her kids don't. The salad is always the thing that's completely untouched. So why make it more complicated? Why? You, you know how expensive everything is right now? For, okay. She's sort of in the same, we're not in the same country, me and Lushy, but we're um, like very close to each other, like geographically. Those three peppers on the cutting board, they might've been like 10 bucks legitimately might have been 10 bucks you're you're going to cut up now three fucking peppers all those tomatoes a can of chickpeas cucumber blah blah whatever the fuck else what is that 30 bucks maybe gonna go just in the garbage to make a show that like oh look we make salad you know when i was a kid i loved salad too i still love salad but like i like greek salad i like you know what i mean the salads that my parents made over and over again it's like the repetition it's always there you're gonna eat it you're gonna like it her kids don't. They eat around it. Olives from a jar, like again. Not a big deal. You have olives from a jar, but the money that she spends on groceries and stuff, you couldn't get some fucking good olives, damn it. Uh, as she says, so good. Mm -hmm. Could be way better. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> Gucci Gang Gamer Girl, that's hilarious, man. Thank you for checking that. Um, so Gucci Gang Gamer Girl, not to jocks, but lives somewhat geographically way closer to Lushy than I do. Huh? The peppers were $4.29. Just check my Wegmans app. <laughs> Love that. All right. $4.29. That's like $6 Canadian of peppers, probably even more. I'm outraged. And actually, that's a pretty good deal. Six bucks for three peppers. You can't find fucking three peppers for three nice peppers, like Wegmans quality peppers for Wegmans. I'm going to say is sort of like, what would it be? Is that like our like Provigo here? I don't fucking know. The like little bit more expensive, the Loblaws here, maybe, you know, six, pe three peppers for six bucks is a steal these days. Oh, that woman, that's quite the deal. Red peppers, four for five dollars. All right. We're four or five dollars a piece. It literally could go either way. I have no idea. Wait, mom. Is that so actually grown up? Well, so the original hold on.
character of the adult Sheldon as a kid. All this stuff is true. She's like having like small talk with one of the kids, but again, because she's always, always filming everything. Even the, the little conversation she has with the kid has to be in a vlog. It's such a shame. Ugh. You grow your own peppers. Oh, I'm so jealous. That's lovely. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Is it true that all the peppers start out as green peppers? And if you just leave it long enough, they all like it's all the same pepper. I don't know if that's true. I don't know anything about nature, but I know that I only fuck with the red peppers. I love red peppers. Yes, that is true. Okay. I thought that that sounded a little sus. Uh, okay. You guys know. Look at all you put in yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. Isn't it amazing then? They come from the same thing and a green pepper tastes like ass and a red pepper tastes like, mm, 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 mm. I could eat a red pepper raw. Like just like bite into it like it's an apple. I don't give a fuck. I love red peppers. I mean, he actually, I think he might be based off of a real person. Oh, but red is the oldest? Ah, I like the mature pepper is what you're saying. Interesting. It's just a TV show. It's not like it's real life. I mean, you should watch like, watch like, he, he wore a shirt his dad. It's his spatial watch. And, um, Okay, yellow on, on the pepper tier list is definitely still better than green, but, but it's the second worst. I'm sorry. Even orange, it's a little more tasty than a yellow. And, and red is just top tier pepper. Mm, just so good. I'm just tipping ahead. I feel really bad for the kid, honestly. The kid's trying to have a little conversation with their mom. They're all like hyped about something. And she's not even pretending to listen at all. Like at all, at all. Oh shit. You know what? Okay, cups dead, Julie. I totally forgot about that. I need a post-it. I got to take myself a note to do that. I want to try and do garlic and I want to try and do celery. And maybe, maybe a green pepper. I don't know. I'm not a green pepper. What do you call them? Fucking green onion. Get all, get a little uh, ambitious. Summer's coming. E, thanks for reminding me. And all I eat is just and seafood. Yeah. Hey. Okay, I was sick of watching her chop those veggies. I want to see like what else. What's next? Oh God, there it is. Dun, dun, dun. Did she buy feta crumbles? That better be a solid piece at least, Lushy. I swear to God. Wow, no, I have never had grits, but I've had polenta. And something tells me they probably taste somewhat similar. Might be a different consistency, but the taste got to be the same, right? So half of this. Four ounces of that. 24 years. What? I think that's since it's 30 years. So it's since yeah. 30 years. So oh, it is very similar. Yeah, I, just, I figured. Oh my god, no! She bought fucking feta crumbles. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, Lushy? Don't ever buy feta crumbles unless, like, a recipe calls for feta crumbles. It's a salad. I, I, you, you guys know how I feel even about the feta, right? I like on a nice salad. You have a big, like, honking piece of feta on your salad, and you let's say break pieces off of the big piece of feta yourself 
Nothing tastes like that. Those fucking crumbles, that's bottom of the barrel shit. You know how they get those crumbles? It's when they cut the nice squares that I'm talking about, the crap that's literally left in the barrel. That's what you're buying when you buy those fucking feta crumbles. Oh, I didn't get it yet. It's it's like shipped, but I didn't get it yet. I'll let you guys know how it is as soon as I get it. Yeah. The original name for the series was 1989. I was eight years old. 1989. How <laughs> insane is that? Yeah. 1989. Oh, that's awesome. I'm I'm like glad that, not glad you guys didn't know that, but glad I could tell you that because it makes a big difference in the taste, which I mean, feta, ooh, those crumbles, they sit in the brine and they're small and the brine really gets at them. You know what I mean? When you have the big hunk, when you cut into the middle of it and stuff, it's not all briny and like in the middle, you know, it tastes completely different. They're not all pasty either. Those fucking little flakes, they get all pasty. It's the brine. Okay. Now the dressing. Yes, exactly. You're a bottom of the barrel beach, and I'm fucking finished shaming you right now. Um, Thirty-four years. It's only been on air. Simpsons. Yeah, thirty-four years. I swear, I think that olive oil is like badly expired. Badly. Does anyone fuck with Costco in the States? Is that is that even a current olive oil like packaging at Costco? She does not use olive oil very often. I swear. I think that's old, old, old. Ugh. Oh, it's ads. Okay. We wait. We don't have one near me. What? How do you live with no Costco? <laughs> Shannon told me she never went to a Costco the other day. I swear to God, I was like, what? I wanted to take her to Costco. I can't even get the words out. I was like, oh, we need to go to Costco now. You know, <laughs> how? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> it's Friday. Gucci Gang Gamer Girl, you got a BJ's, huh? You have Sam's and BJ's. I know where you go. I'm trying to move the BJ's, I'm sure. I don't, I, we don't have either one of those things. I'm just making jokes. Oh, <laughs> I also hate that fucking pasty feta. Nasty. Nasty. It just makes it worse. Oh. Kirkland olive oil is the best of all. The cheaper everyday police uh, oil brands. Olive oil brands. I don't know that I've tried Kirkland olive oil. But I love Kirkland stuff. Wait, it must have been my brother. My brother told me something recently about Kirkland. And it was something about like, why are Kirkland products always so damn good? And it, they they only partner with like the top producer of an item. For example, if Kirkland was going to make ketchup or something, they would be having Heinz produce their ketchup. And a lot of times if they don't make something, it's because they can't get that number one producer to produce them their Kirkland stuff. It, it makes a lot of sense to me because fucking Kirkland stuff is always so damn good. I'll eat SpongeBob for 10 years. Yeah. 30 years, it's only like 41 episodes. Good show. Oh, you just bought a fresh olive oil this week, and the label was very different. Interesting. Since 1989. And she used those disgusting garlic things in her salad dressing. 
When you went to college? And then when they moved from North Carolina to New York. Okay, I can't stand the just like chit chat between her and the kids. Like, cut this shit out. It's not the moment. And I don't mean like kid, get the kid out of the room. You know what I mean? Why can't she edit out the 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 talking? It's so fucked. That garlic is so funky. I agree. I think it's even worse in a salad dressing though, because you're gonna eat it raw, you know? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it still worked out. Worked out. Well. He met his best friend and in school, Everything is so is. fussy with her too, and like measured in another dirty bowl and stuff. Greek salad. You drizzle the top with olive oil. You spray some lemon on the whole damn thing. Little salt, little pepper, little olive uh, oregano, and mix it. Like, what are you doing with another fucking bowl? It's not that complicated. Yeah. And then I want to like the first grade, I like no, having right? Yeah. That's where I'm going to miss them down. I literally, I, I, why, 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 why? An extra bowl, two plastic spoons for no reason at all. Sorry. I'm trying to hear you over this fan. I mean, I. Well, you're making steak? Yeah, I love steak. Oh, poor kid. Lushy, be honest. You're not just having steak. Kid, you think you like steak. You're about to hate steak. Hmm? Bad news. She had the lid on it. Like, and I, oh God, she's covering it up again. You can hear it like boiling in there. Why are you boiling the meats? All right, I'm going to put the gyros on the symbol so people can put what they want or don't want on it. It'll be like a gyro bar. Okay, cucumber, diced. Who the fuck puts cucumber in a gyro? What are you doing now? You already made the salad. The cucumber's moment is past. You don't put cucumber in a gyro. Where the fuck does she get these recipes from? insanity just for nothing oh it's pinterest pinterest where people just want to make their artsy stupid things fucking yeah. why why go to google search like i don't know traditional insert country you're doing for around the world week Tomatoes belong. Onion belongs. Tzatziki belongs. Everything else, get it the hell out of here.
Okay, raw tomatoes have their place in life. I I would like I wouldn't just eat a tomato, but a tomato sandwich is my favorite sandwich. So figure that one out. Hmm? Raw tomatoes have their place in in a souvlaki in a gyro. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like a tomato. It freshens it up. Gives it a little something going on. Okay, we've got the Euro station. Josh is telling me it's gyro, but I told him, I told him, you guys told me it's Euro. Josh is a fucking idiot. Don't ever listen to Josh. Josh, as usual, is wrong. What is that? What what are those? Look at that meat. How are they going to even chew through that? She overcooked the fuck out of that meat. That's not how you, you do it. I don't know. It's like she was going for like a beef souvlaki or something, but like the meats, it's still too big. Tomatoes, yes. Onions, yes. What is that? Olives? I hope they're there for your pleasure. Olives don't go in there. Cucumber, get it out of here. Oh God, now we're going to see the moussaka. <sighs> Hold your breath. We've got the moussaka and the no, 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 absolutely not. What, what is that? That's a crime that throw it away. Just get it out of here. <laughs> I don't want to see that. I can see the rings of your goddamn eggplant. Yeah. Jill. I like J Jill. Send her away for this one. Remember when I said the topping is the best part and you got a good, a good, ooh, a good like lift on the topping there. I don't want to see your top layer of veg. Huh? And where's the egg? You put in fucking egg and it still didn't even fluff up. What's the matter with you? The chickpea salad.